Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to add unique numbers for every submission in your app with the help of the unique numbering block available in Clapier. This is useful for billing information, incident reports, employee ID generation or ticket generation and much more. Let's take an example to see how this works. Here I've created an incident report app where employees can report workplace incidents. Now in this app, I would like to add a unique incident number for every incident reported. For this, we go to the design app where you can edit your app. You can also see all the earlier fields. Click on add field and then click on unique numbering. This unique numbering block can be configured on the right hand panel. I'll change the label to incident ID. You can also give a description to the field. Usually this is to allow a user to know what to input into a field or some helpful information for them or you can leave it blank. You can leave the description blank as it is not usually required for the unique numbering block. Next under prefix, you can set the starting number or letter for the ID. So for example, I will give in INC for incident. Then you can set the minimum length of the ID. So let's say 7 and then give the starting sequence number. So for a new submission, if you would like the ID to start with 1 and then go from there sequentially, I will give it as 1. Now I'll click on save. I will move this unique numbering block at the top of the app by dragging and dropping it to where I need it to be. Now I'll go to app home to see how this looks like. Here you can see the incident ID field which is the unique numbering block and you will not be able to enter any value in this as it says the value will be auto generated by the system. So once you make a submission, the value will be generated in the submissions tab. So I'll fill in the details of this app really quickly to see how it looks. Now I'll click on submit to make the submission. You can view all your submissions under the submissions tab. And once you click on the submission, a right hand panel appear capturing all the details. And here you can see the incident ID has been generated. It shows the prefix that we have given. The starting ID is one and the total length is seven, which was the minimum length that we set. Now, if I were to give another submission, the incident ID will change to two. In your app home, you can also give display conditions to the unique numbering block. For example, this field should appear in the app when a selection is made under new incident, either yes or no. Now this is totally dependent on your requirement if you want to display the unique numbering block based on certain conditions. I will just be taking this simple example. So I'll go to design app and under the advanced option for the unique numbering block, we have display this field if. Here you will be able to implement the display condition. You can give logic and conditions similar to spreadsheets. We share a similar library. But in place of cell numbers, we have the concept of variable names, which you can find at the top of every field in brackets. So as I had mentioned, if new incident is selected as yes or no, then the field should appear in the app. So to implement this display condition over here, I will type in or at the rate new incident equals to yes, comma at the rate new incident equals to no and save this. Now if I go to app home, you can see the unique numbering block has not appeared. When I make a selection either yes or no, then it will appear in the app. Even if you do not make the selection and the unique numbering block does not show in the app, it will still be generated when you make a submission. So now the subsequent submission that you make, the incident number will be generated sequentially. So I'll fill in the details of this app really quickly to see how that looks. Now I'll click on submit. Now under the submissions tab, you can see the new submission that I've just created and you can see the new incident ID generated. So it generates unique numbers sequentially. This will also work in the mobile app. All you have to do is download the Clapia app either on Play Store or App Store. And the moment you create your app, you will be able to use it on the mobile app as well. And the unique number will be generated as you have configured it. If you have multiple entries to enter into your app, and if you bulk upload those data, even then the unique number will be generated for each entry. So I'll just bulk upload some test data here by clicking on this option. Then I'll click on download this blank spreadsheet link and a blank spreadsheet will get downloaded. Upload all the data that you might have in this spreadsheet under the relevant headers which are the fields we have given in the app. Once you have filled the spreadsheet, upload it here and click on upload. It says all was successfully uploaded. I will refresh the submissions tab and you can see the incident numbers have been generated for all entries. If you have any queries regarding the configuration of the unique numbering block or any other feature in Clapier, you can request support by clicking on the button over here 
or you can email us directly to support at clape.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.